Ah, finally, a travel advisory map from a country we've never covered before. North Korea. This is gonna be good. So a travel advisory map is done by the country's government, showing where its citizens can and cannot travel. So in the red, we have countries where they cannot travel, and in the gray, we have no data. So if you're a North Korean, you cannot travel to any of these red places. Anything that's red, you are not allowed to go to. If the country is gray, you're probably not allowed to go here either, but also we probably don't have a lot of information about this area, so who knows if it even exists at this point. Funny, this map is basically saying if you're a North Korean citizen, you're kind of trapped. There's just no places you can go to, huh? What's really strange is you'd think there'd be some updates every year or so, but nope. Everything just kind of stays red. Okay, but seriously, uh, I think North Koreans actually can travel abroad if they have the necessary government permission. They even have foreign students, and as of 2012, there was 1,400 North Korean students studying, mostly in China, though. This has been the biggest surprise of my life. Believe it or not, South Africa is actually more north, south, east, and west than Lesotho. Been seeing this trend pop up a lot in maps recently, and I guess we finally figured out something more than just Greenland and Iceland. I would have never guessed that South Africa is more north, west, south, and east than Lesotho. It's almost like this country is landlocked or something. Italy is both more north, west, south, east than the Vatican City and San Marino. Man, that is so crazy. Map of Europe with a bunch of random numbers on it. This has got to be false because I see letters here. There's not just numbers. Also, who put this pie here? I see you've labeled the Vatican City, San Marino, and Andorra, but what about Monaco and Liechtenstein? Okay, now I'm just trying to figure out what am I actually looking at here? Is this area codes? This is not area codes. Who put this. Who did this? Is this supposed to be dates? I don't know. Without touching a single piece of land, it's possible to fly from India to the USA in a completely straight line. That's actually crazy to think about because it looks like you would touch a piece of land, but you would be in fact also flying, so therefore you wouldn't. So what you're trying to tell me is if you're flying, you're not on the ground. God, these maps just get so confusing. I drew a map of Australia from memory. As you can see here, we have Western Australia, then there's Northern Australia, as well as the Outback, and of course we have some very popular states in Australia that are known for being just in the desert all the time. Sudan, Chad, Nigeria. I have this funny feeling that Australia named a lot of their states after, like, countries or something. I don't know what that is. I'm just disappointed they didn't use Tasmania as Madagascar. Huge win for Kosovo. Disney Pixar's Cars 2 recognized the independence of Kosovo. Whoop. It's over, Serbia. Cars 2 has made it official. When Cars 2 says something, we all must accept it. Meanwhile, in the Cars 2 universe, Slovenia doesn't exist. Must be some sort of, like, universal law. If you give independence to one country, you must take it away from another. Wait a second, no Luxembourg either? Or maybe this is just in the Cars universe itself. Somehow the Cars universe got rid of some countries and... I don't know. I don't want to get into the Cars universe theories. It, it just goes too deep. Those German borders are implying that there was a car Hilter and a car World War II. <laughs> Also, probably a car Stalin. Also, say hello to an independent Kaliningrad and a North and South Estonia. Now I really need a Cars 4 talking about car World War II. A map of the Netherlands after climate change. Of course, the Netherlands are the only country that pretty much mastered getting rid of the ocean and turned it into land. So when the ocean water level rises and completely engulfs all of the continents, it'll be the Dutch's job to get rid of the ocean floor and just, like, colonize all of it, which they will easily do. I can't wait to live in this universe. France, after a breast reduction, because as you can see, breast France is no longer here. And you know what? They look great. I support this decision. My proposal for a straight high-speed rail line connecting the capital cities of Atlanta, Georgia, and Tbilisi, Georgia. Finally, it's about time we have a Georgia, Georgia union. Wait, is that even Georgia? This is looking pretty close to Alabama. It's still crazy to me that we just named a state after a whole other country. Like, at least with New Mexico, we had the decency to put new in front of it. See, if that was me, personally, I wouldn't take those levels of disrespect. A map of all the landlocked countries, but I am a fish. So because I'm a fish, I can guarantee that some of these places are not landlocked. I can and have swim to places like Panama, the USA, Canada. In yellow, we have the countries that are landlocked, which, because I'm a fish, I'm still unsure of the places that have been landlocked. But that's why I've labeled in gray all the places that have no data. We're still trying to figure that part out in the fish community. I've been trying to talk to my homies forever, and they 
Caspian Sea, but still haven't heard back from them. What's going on around here? But when we do, that's going to be a huge jump for fish science. I like how even the coastal no data countries still have no data. Even the fish don't even know what's going on. Someone accidentally created a map of thick Netherlands. Or maybe this isn't accidental. Maybe this is the Dutch claiming all their territory in the lowland countries. This would be quite the powerful Netherlands. I'd be very scared if I was the ocean at this point. Finally, the flag of Cyprus, but it's been zoomed out for so long we've just been forced to look at this perspective only but recent technology has allowed us to zoom out of that flag and figure out that well North America is actually a lot higher up in terms of latitude than initially thought it feels like the upside down of Cyprus flag only true horrors happen here also I guess Africa doesn't exist countries which were not invited to my birthday I sent out invitations already to all the black countries but I did not to any of the red ones they should be receiving them at any time now I'm actually still waiting for a lot of the embassies to get back to me a couple of the diplomats I expect at least one head of state from everyone except of course from Russia Belarus Iran Afghanistan Syria they're not allowed to come no one share the invite with them I don't want things to get awkward these are all the naughty countries see if you're on Santa's bad list you can't come to my birthday party that's guilt by association and I'm not trying to get any coal this year this is just making me really want to become like a diplomat or something how does one become a diplomat and just send me to the most obscure place ever is it possible for me to be a diplomat for the state of Alabama to the country of Sealand. I think they got some room up there for me. I literally failed qualification number one, a bachelor's degree. I wonder if my YouTube channel can be enough though. I, I feel like I have enough knowledge of foreign relations. Unfortunately, I feel like there's probably too much video evidence of me like dunking on other countries to be like legitimately considered for this job. Public toilets ranked from divine to abominable. So this person gives a high ranking to Germany and the lowland countries public toilets, but they aren't quite as well as the Scandinavian countries. Denmark, Sweden and Norway, they got great public toilets. Finland, not as well, but it's all right. Ooh, maybe Estonia can into Nordic with these numbers. Honestly, UK, Ireland, France, Spain, Portugal, I'm disappointed. Negative 10, you're better than this. Italy knows how to treat a public restroom, I guess. Poland and Czechia, on the other hand, they're struggling, but not struggling as much as Russia. Negative 50. Those public toilets are probably freezing cold, too. That doesn't help their ranking. Meanwhile, Serbia, Croatia, and Bosnia also getting really low scores. The Balkans as a whole, though, just ain't looking great. Probably not smelling great either. Turkey also rated very low. Does this have anything to do with the food, you think? Along with the Nordic countries, Austria and Slovenia at the top of the list. There really should be some sort of Olympics for best public toilet, I think. Can you imagine those Olympic games? People having to test those things out. I feel like you have to go to the lowest of the low, too. It's got to be like a public gas station bathroom just to really see how low that bar can go. Places where I've been hospitalized for extreme constipation. So I've yet to be hospitalized for extreme constipation in, like, New Mexico, Texas, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, but I'm getting to those. I'm just starting my collection, and the first place to be honored with this is Michigan. You're welcome. You have to figure out the right types of foods to replicate this process without dying. In another 49 states, but I think it can be done. There's got to be a Guinness Book of World Records for this. I feel it. Oh, I understand it now. How far are you away from monarchies? I don't even care about the data here. Someone definitely needs to hospitalize this map. They seem to have some sort of severe skin rash going on. Okay, so some of the world's monarchies happen to be Saudi Arabia, Spain, Morocco, the UK. So if you live in the red, you are in a monarchy. And if you live in the orange, you're pretty close to a monarchy. You're exactly zero to a thousand kilometers away. Keep in mind, there's several islands as well that could drag you down. Rip Argentina. Now, if you had a massive fear of monarchies and you can't be within a 4,000 kilometer radius of them, I'd advise you to travel immediately to this Siberian part of Russia, just north of Mongolia. That or the Congo has a small window for you. Or finally, you can choose to go to northern Chile, South Peru, Bolivia, Paraguay, or Brazil. Maybe this is why they want me to come to Brazil, to escape the king and queen. The ultimate cross-continental trip, PP Island to Poo Poo Point. Me showing up like, I don't care how long it takes me, I'm doing this. Doesn't matter if I get, like, uh, pulled over. Gonna have a great time. Coast to coast, baby. Wait, unironically though, this doesn't look that bad of a road trip. Only 79 hours? And get to see some pretty nice northern states as well? I'm in. Ah yes, finally, a map according to Blizzard, their source, Battle.net. First, let's begin with the Americas. Yes, I see you have North and South America. But it's nice to see that America has expanded a little bit into ocean 
Oceania and Asia as well. About time we picked up some territory. It's been a while. We did, however, have to lose Greenland in the process, though. Meanwhile, we have Europe, which I guess gained Greenland. Also, according to Blizzard, Europe has re-imperialized all of Africa, or maybe this is an old map. The Middle East is now European as well. Finally, Asia, which is just Japan, South Korea, and then some dots, and then there's China, which, um, okay. I think you left off Taiwan, but then again, I'm a little confused. China game region serves players in mainland China and does not cover Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan. Oh, thanks, Blizzard. This literally looks like 1984. Tito's plan for a greater Yugoslavia, or basically, Tito wanted to turn Yugoslavia into the Arabian Peninsula. If you kind of, like, turn your head and squint. I can see the Arabian Peninsula in this. You want to expand Slovenia, then take over all of Bulgaria, Albania. I mean, at this point, you might as well unify the Balkans as a whole. Get Just get Romania in there, Hungary. Only problem is, once Tito oofs, the whole fall of Yugoslavia thing is gonna be like a thousand times worse. This is America. I'm really trying to figure out what this post is doing here, because the Comic Sans font is really throwing me off. Like, is this supposed to be ironic or unironic? Also, where are the Great Lakes? Also, is this person claiming America is just one continent. I've seen both takes. You did keep Greenland here, unlike Blizzard. Oh, I think this is doing the whole, like, because the United States of America is not just America. There's more to America than just that. Where's the actual plural form for the U.S. then? Like, they say Americans, but everyone here is Americans. What are they, what should they call us? United Statesers? The rise of the greatest empire that has ever lived. History doesn't teach you too much about these guys, but they're incredibly powerful. As you can see, in 1501, they, 10 years later, well, 30 years later, they conquered everything. They didn't, they didn't start to colonize, uh, the moon. I can't, and then the galaxy by the 17th century. See, I think this is just such a, a big monumental point in, in human history, and it's really depressing that not enough public schools teach about it. Turks controlled the entire universe at one point. Guess where I'm from, based off the cities I can name off the top of my head. I don't know, I've actually never heard of these cities in my entire life, so I'm actually very confused. Seems like you're in a whole kind of forgotten continent or something. Well, wherever you live, there can't be more than just like a couple dozen people living here at the same time. Maybe make that 5,000, but it depends on the season. Like I look the population numbers up for Antarctica constantly. I always forget that usually during the winter there's only a thousand people down there. You know what? I think I figured it out. This person's got to be a penguin. Guys, Luxembourg, Luxembourg, Luxembourg is inside of Luxembourg. There's too much Luxembourg goodness for this. I don't think I can take it. How many Luxembourg's deep can we go? NASA.gov has this map on their website informing us where the prime meridian is and where Iran and Afghanistan are not. Oh, and also all of India. What is going on here? Well, NASA would know. I guess they gotta be onto something. They're literally in the satellites. I guess these are the fake places. And I thought it was Wyoming this whole time. And big thanks to- My wife hates this part. My name is Walter Hartwell Wyatt. Drew's Argentinian the Poland, grandpa. Lithuanian, California and Nevada. Bring back Poland ball. Base Morgan to finish $20 is a, a lot, lot true. Chris Dickens, Hem Danny, Danny Evan Price, Gamer Space Period, Jacob, Lover, Matt, Phillip, Arnett, Terra, Fresh, Animation, Chachi, Why am I doing this?